Hi, I'm Asma with Explain, and today I'll be walking you through our task manager agent. This is a really useful agent if your client facing is based out of WhatsApp or if your primary uh, mode of communication is based off of WhatsApp. Let me walk you through the agent. It starts out with a speech recognition agent, which recognizes speech when given audio files and extracts the text from the audio. Next, we have the text summarization agent, which can summarize text in the categories. Over here, I've mentioned task, frequency, and assignment. Both of these are then combined into a task agent, which is a specialized AI agent that extracts actionable tasks from audio files. It follows specific uh, steps. By first, it extracts spoken text from the provided audio file, uh, ident identifies the main task from the pre uh, extracted text, identifies how often the task seems to be done, and also the person responsible for the task. Um, once, if it doesn't find any of these values, it's going to replace that field with a note and return it. It strictly follows this format, and that's the structure of how the task agent looks like. You can customize this to like, uh, like whatever is relevant to you and fill it in whatever information might be important to you. Uh, once you're happy with the agent, you can deploy it, uh, get the task agent ID as well as the uh, URL, which is important for API integration. With this, you can integrate into any third party app that might be relevant to you. Um, and this is what the output looks like. So for uh, audio files, it's uh, extracted task, frequency, and assigning. And this is an example with two different ones where you want defining needs based on behavior and engagement once a month. And one is every two weeks. It contacts key accounts for feedback or update. Next, I'll be showing you how you can integrate this with your WhatsApp. So before we start in about what the integration site, let me just walk you through what we have set up over here for the environment. So I have a Tweeno sandbox WhatsApp account, which I am using to send audio files, but this could as easily be done on your WhatsApp business account or a chatbot that you have for your WhatsApp. I also have a Flask app over here and Engraph local server, but this could as easily be replicated on an EC2 instance or ECS instance in AWS. At the start, what this does is that once it receives an audio, uh, audio message, it is going to extract the URL of the audio file and clean it up a little bit or the needs I don't add the WhatsApp number so you know it's coming from WhatsApp, things like that. So it downloads the audio file and then uploads uh, the file to an S3 bucket on AWS. And that's what we use to store our audio file with. This is then used to send the audio file to the explain agent endpoint. And we wait for the results to come through. And then we use the get request to get the data back. Once the data is received, we, in the structure that I showed earlier, we then use that to parse the AI response to get just the three fields that we're interested in, the task, the frequency, and the assigning. And with a little integration to Google Sheets, we are now able to create a Google Sheet with these columns. The columns are going to be time stamped, task, frequency, and assignee and update the Google Sheet. This could also be an, a, a form of CRM database if this is something that you're using for internal communication or a, a Google Sheet or a spreadsheet of some sort to host client data. It's really easy to adjust this based on what your, your requirements are. And here I'll be showing you that. I'll be showing it to you in action. Now, let me show you how the integration looks. I have my WhatsApp Twilio box here. I'm going to give this a voice message and see if the Google Sheet gets data. Tim, check the bug board weekly. So that's the audio file that's gone in. And now you can see that we have received the audio file. It's been saved locally. It's been uh, uploaded to S3. Um, the audio file has been sent to explain. We now have the explain endpoint uh, working with the audio file to extract our um, task frequency and assignment. These are the entire logs. And now you can see that the Google Sheet has been, it's been updated with the task frequency and the assignment. I hope this was informative for you. Do let us know if you'd like this or some other use cases that might be interesting to you. And the entire code is going to be available on our explain code.